Hi, I'm Callie from CRK Training. Welcome back to another one of our weekly videos. And the topic of today's video is going to be slowing down a horse. And we're gonna talk specifically about slowing down a horse that gets quick at the trot. So I've actually received several questions on this one and I wanted to address it in today's video. So I am here with Whoopie Pie and she is a horse that tends to get quick. Horses will get quick or get too fast for several reasons. For Whoopie Pie, she gets quick either when she gets worried or anxious, so she tends to be a little more of a of a worried kind of a horse, or she'll get quick when she gets unbalanced. So I don't know how evident it's gonna be in the video, but my arena has a good bit of a slope going this way. So you're gonna notice that as I'm going around, as I go down the, the little bit of a slope, she tends to get quicker because she has more, more problems and she doesn't, hasn't quite figured out how to shift her weight back to go down the little slope. So they'll get, horses will get quick um, for being unbalanced. They'll get quick when they're anxious, when they're worried about something, when they're afraid, um, just like Whoopie Pie. And then they will also sometimes get quick if they're unbalanced because of the rider. So in this case, when you have a horse that's quick, you wanna really think about stretching up, making sure that you're keeping your upper body tall and that when you're posting, you're really keeping your hips underneath of you so that you're able to stay tall and open as you're posting. So what happens if we lean forward and we're posting more forward on a horse that tends to get quick, the horse can feel like the weight, like our weight is shifted forward on their front end and they can start to almost like they're scrambling a little bit to try to stay under our weight. So picture if you were like giving someone a piggyback ride and they started to lean forward, you would have to lean forward and then you'd probably try to take a few quick steps to get back underneath of their weight. So the same thing can happen with the horses and that's why it's just important to check our position and make sure that we're tall. Now, I'm going to show you a few strategies that I use for slowing down a horse that gets quick. What I want to mention, what you have to really think about, is that the release, meaning when we tell the horse to slow down, and the horse does slow down, even if it's just a little bit, or even if it's only for a few seconds, we still have to release. So what can happen with a quick horse is if we hold, if we always feel like we have to hold them slow, and when they do slow down, if we keep holding and we never give them that release, that's when the, the, the chain reaction starts that we feel like we're holding, now we've gotta hold stronger because the horse is pushing through the pressure that we used to hold with, now we're having to get a bigger bit, and so on to feel like we can control the horse. But if we release, essentially we're saying, we're asking the horse to slow down, when the horse does slow down, again, even if, even if it's a little bit, we say, that's right, good job, with the release. And then if we need to, we could say, nope, slow down again, good job, slow down, good job. So the release is really important because it teaches the horse what we want. It teaches the horse what our pressure means, meaning the tension that we take in our body and then the pressure that we take on the reins to say slow down. We have to be able to release that when the horse does slow down to tell them that they got the right answer. So that's what I'm gonna show you first, just very simply, take a steady pressure and releasing it when the horse slows down. Now the one thing that you want to be really careful of is it's usually better to take a little bit of pressure with one rein or the other and this goes for if you're riding an arena or if you're out in an open trail and the reason I say this is what what commonly happens if we pull with both reins is we start to brace meaning it's we lock our arms here and we don't have any give at all and we keep pulling, keep pulling, and the, our brace makes the horse brace against us too. So if you stay open through your body, this is a lot less likely to happen than if you get braced here. But still be really careful to be very aware of the pressure that you're taking. Slowly increase the amount of resistance that you're putting on the reins and then drop it right away as soon as the horse gets the right answer and slows down. And again, if you're having trouble and you're bracing, thinking about working more through one rein can really help as well as isolating a little bit more of that pressure on one rein can well we're, we're going to show that exercise next but it's going to help it's going to bend the horse which is going to kind of set them up to slow down and then it's going to set them up to get the right answer but first let me just take her out here and we're going to work on just a very simple taking pressure and releasing it
and we're going to show it just here even at the walk i'm going to ask her to stop so i'm taking the resistance in my body notice i'm engaging the reins and then again releasing and softening as soon as she's slowing down and then releasing when she stops So here again, I'm going to ask her to slow down, notice taking the pressure, and then releasing it. And it doesn't have to be a big move. So notice how I have my reins um, fairly short, but I can go from zero pressure here, <laughs> she's stretching down into it, but zero pressure here to I can take pressure, take pressure, and drop it again. So it's just a, basically a soft movement of my arms, and it's the tension that I'm holding in my arms as well. So again here, I'll do it right in front of the camera. I'm gonna take tension in my body, take tension in my arms, and then tell her to go forward again. So today she's actually being pretty good. She usually gets a lot quicker than she is today. And this little stretch is nice. If you have a horse that tends to get quick, this is what you wanna see, that they're starting to stretch down. Not root into the bridle, which Whoopie Pie will sometimes do, but that they're wanting to stretch down. And actually, as I was warming her up, I was working a little bit on, on lowering the head just because for her, if she can lower her head and stretch out a little bit with her neck, it'll help her get a little bit more evenness and rhythm in her stride, which is also really important for horses that get quick. Because a lot of times, horses that get quick, you know, you slow them down, they get fast. They get unbalanced down a turn, they get fast. And they're very, they're harder to ride because their, their pace is changing a lot. So when you can get them to start to stretch their neck, you can get a little bit more of a rhythmic stride. So the next strategy that I'm going to show you as far as, again, she's being really good today, but as far as it, when a horse gets quick and if you feel like you're pulling and you're taking a lot of resistance through your body, you're engaging the reins, taking resistance on the reins, and the horse isn't responding, a good way that you can set them up to slow down so that you can say that's right is to use your fence line or if you were out on like an open trail is to use one rein and take a bend. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna use our arena fence kind of like a crutch and I'm gonna take her, I'm going to, when she gets quick, I'm gonna tip her nose into the fence and when she tips her nose into the fence, it's, and I'm also gonna put my leg back and move her hip in a little bit. So when she does that, when she goes into the fence like that, it's naturally gonna back her off a little bit. And again, I'm gonna be careful. I'm gonna be opening my rein, not just pulling her nose like this, because I don't want her just running with her head sideways. I wanna basically angle her whole body into the fence so that she takes that step that she backs off her forward motion a little bit. And then in that moment, I can relax with my body, I can release with the reins, and I can say, that's right, slow down. And then I let them go forward again on the loose rein, and then I can do the same thing. But, because what we have to remember is when we just pull our horses into where we want them. So for example, if, if she's going quick and I just physically like haul her back into a slower gait and then release, it's not gonna mean as much as when she makes more of the decision to slow down, and then I can release that. Or in this case, I'm kind of setting her up that she's gotta slow down because she's hitting the fence. And then again, she's made that decision to slow down for a second, and I can release that. So we wanna to try to always set the horse up to do what we want them to do, and then be able to say, yes, that's right, instead of always feeling like we're using a large amount of physical pressure to put them where we want them, to hold them um, where we want them, or to hold them at the speed or the pace that we want them at. So I'm gonna take her out, and I'm gonna show you that. And again, I keep a loose rein with her as she's, as she's going around and going slow, going the pace I want her to. Okay, so right here, if she was quick, I could tip her out, 
See how she slowed down? I push my hands forward and I relax my body and then just let her go straight. I'm gonna do it again along this fence line. Tip her nose towards the fence. As Soon as she slows down, I relax and say, go ahead and go straight. <laughs> She's really stretching today. Do it again here, tip her nose out. She slows down a little and I allow her to go straight again. So again, this can be an excellent exercise for for really a horse that's getting quick and again that you can't, you feel like you're pulling a lot and you just can't get them to slow down. You can use that fence as a crutch and then if you're out in an open area, say out on a trail where you don't have like a fence like that to use, what you can do is use one rein. Let me move her over here just a little. So you can use one rein here and you can use it in a little bit of what's sometimes called a pulley rein. So since she changed directions, you're basically gonna pull up here, put a little bit of this leg on. And when you feel the horse, when you use one rein like this, it should back them off as they kind of do this. So they kind of rock back and over just a tiny bit. And when you have just that little bit of a rock back, you say good job and you relax. And that can be a lot more effective out, like I said, on the trail or on an open area rather than again, feeling like you have to hold. And then that release, that saying that was right is the most important part. One more thing I wanna to touch on with your body is that when you're thinking slow, so I keep saying about taking resistance in your body, and what I mean by that is using your core, being strong in your core, so that when you, when you think slow down, you stretch up and you tighten specifically like your lower abs, you tighten right here and that helps keep you tall, it helps tip you back slightly in the saddle, keep your weight centered, so that again, it's easier for the horse to rock back and slow down as well. So this is our video for riding a horse that gets quick at the trot. Hope you enjoyed it and uh, found it helpful. If you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comments. And also if you are watching this anywhere besides crktrainingblog.com, that's where most of the discussion happens. And I look forward to seeing you there.